Cortland has a long history of um, educating students in the outdoors, and that's why I'm here. Students learn best by seeing things hand-on. You can come up here for a two-week course, a three-week course, and have the full experience where you're embedded in this area for that length of time. There's classrooms up here, internet, so you can work with your computer. And you also are very close to the field environment. You can get right out into the field right away. This is a sundew. It's a, another carnivorous plant. It's a mink frog. <laughs> SUNY Cortland has three uh, excellent field facilities. And this one is a, a residential facility. You can wake up, go swimming before breakfast. The dining hall serves uh, great food, three meals a day. Some days we take pack lunches if we're in the field all day. Stan, I want you to hold your hands out. Yes. Seeing them here, I get to see them be surprised, and I get to see them be challenged, and I get to see them absolutely delighted in a way that uh, is unavailable to me on the main campus. I love the small group dynamics that go on up here, and I love the fact that we can balance play with work. We can have a really good session of getting some hard work done and really working our brains, and then we can say, hey, you know what, let's go for a hike. This morning, the option was, who wants to go out on the lake and play broom ball? I have such a bond with these professors just from coming up here that I would never have otherwise. And you just, it helps you in the classroom back at school. Just amazing. The time you get to spend with teachers and students, it's unbelievable. You get to see everybody in real life. It's not just 50 minutes in a class. I get to see them working as a, as a group, too, on various projects, and they, I get to see them supporting one another and cooperating, uh, and I find that absolutely delightful. I can imagine being in so many different situations where you can use the actual physical grounds here as teaching moments, whether it's the architecture, whether it's the geology, the geography, the history, or, you know, in our case, it's just, just using this spectacular landscape for creativity. If knowing your students is valuable to you, then this is a means to know them. <laughs>